Hello Aquarius! Thank you for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of supportive oracle cards, I'm using the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. <sighs> Already shuffled. We're going to do Relationship first, Single second. Let's see what we got. Aquarius. A lot of powerful cards, especially on your partner's side. No, no, no. Put it there. Okay. Um, what I'm pulling into here, like, this section seems to be the strongest, so I, I kind of want to try to address all of this at once. <laughs> Your partner, Ace of Cups, they love you. No question, they love you. All about it. They're all about you, they're all about the love. This seems to be weighing on you heavily. Uh, because where you're standing, yeah, I'm noticing it's not in an action position. But where you're standing is the Magician card with the Isis inspiration. I'm feeling you could actually change the situation as it's going, but... I'm kind of feeling like you're abstaining because of the love you have for your partner. You could change how things are going, but you know how happy your partner is with how they're currently going. I'm getting you're abstaining for that reason. And I'm getting also, like, the, the Seven of Swords is where you are with the um, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is your challenge card. Seven of Swords is what's happening. The Seven of Swords is just kind of letting it be and walking away from it. Just kind of letting it, letting it lie, letting it be it as it is, and just keeping your influence away from it. You're just not changing anything. The Ten of Swords is like, I, or the Ten of Wands here is telling me that it's not the easiest thing for you to do. It would be easier for you to change the situation. It would be easier for, it would be easier for you at the very least. And you're thinking it might work out better, but you you know how much your partner enjoys what, what's currently happening. So I really feel like you're abstaining for the because of the love for your partner. I really feel like that's what's happening. Now, as you're pulling back and not influencing the situation, your partner has the justice card. I feel like the way it's working out, it really, it's really feeling balanced for them. Um, I don't really know how much influence they currently have in the situation, but they're feeling like everything is working out fairly. Um, they're feeling like everything is on point. They're happy. Justice has prevailed in the sense of, like, this is how they feel it should be going, and this is the way it is going. Is that right? All right. And the cha But the challenge card... <laughs> okay. The challenge card is the King of Pentacles. And I feel like this might be one of the reasons you're kind of abstaining and pulling back. Your partner would like to believe this is just how it's going to be, and this is how it's going to stay... Uh, I don't feel like it's going to stay this way. And I feel like this is one of the reasons you're holding back. You know that this is on, this has got like an expiration date. But you're also like, I feel like letting it kind of come to its own expiration date without you advancing the situation is better for your relationship. It might be better for you. Like it may be, like, the situation is going to move forward. It may be better to move forward the situation sooner rather than later, but emotionally for you to let your partner come to terms on this on their own is better for your relationship. Is that all right? So the situation may might go better if you move it forward sooner, but your relationship will, uh, will go better if you let it go on its let it end on its own and you don't push it forward. And it doesn't matter; it's going to turn out the same way either way. Might as well make a better situation for your relationship. Why not? Seems like the better way to handle it, and I feel like that's why you're doing what you're doing. If this is hitting, of course, general read. Now, the justice happens. Your partner's happy. feels like everything's the way it should be. They feel like it's going to stay that way. It ain't going to stay that way. Mm. Um, the high priestess happens next in your partner's side. Reality is knocking at the door and saying, you know what? The expiration date is coming. The milk is not going to be fresh forever. You better make something with it. 
better drink it, you better use it in cereal, you better make a cake, you better do something with it. Do something with it. Make a, make a pudding, whatever you gotta do, but you better do something with it. Freeze it, make an ice cream, whatever you need to. But the high priestess is saying, change is coming, you need to change something. It's not sustainable, it's gonna go rotten after a while, you need to change. Change is here, change is coming. Change is here and coming. Like, it's like, yeah. The high priestess is them acknowledging it because they really can't walk away from it. Like, they feel like trying to hold on to that King of Pentacle energy, like it's staying the way it is. It's coming, like, the, this is Major Arcana, this is Minor Arcana. Even though it's a King, Major Arcana usually outranks that, usually depending on the situation. So, reality's coming in and they're, they're realizing it. I'm also noticing the King of Swords in their spiritual sense. I don't feel like this actually happens as much until they hit that High Priestess moment where they're just like, oh, they, the milk's gonna spoil, I need to do something with it. Milk's gonna spoil, it's gonna happen. And they have to address, they have to address it, they have to do something about it. That's when they come towards you, I feel. That's when this King of Swords energy is really activated because they're coming towards you and they're saying, I was hoping this would just stay the way it was, but I'm realizing the milk is going to go sour. I need to do something with it. What do you think we should do with it? And then <laughs> the ball's back in your court. I just think it's funny. Because I feel like you actually abstaining and holding back, just the power still comes to you anyway. It just it makes me laugh because it's just kind of like, either you have to push it forward and your partner's not happy with you, which I don't think you're going to do, or you just hold back and wait for your partner to come to you and then you have to push it forward, but they want you to, and it works better for you. Because you, spiritually, you have the chariot card. Your partner comes forward saying, we need to do something, what do we need to do? They're ready to do it, what do you think we should do? The chariot is like, this is what I think we should do. They agree, and you move forward. The trick is here, and these are the cards that help. Because that's, I feel like this is, that's the, that's the, what do you call it, the soup to nuts of it the appetizer to dessert, whatever you want to say. This is the whole situation. But the things that are bleeding in and out throughout the situation is the Two of Pentacles for you. This is helping you. Um, weighing it out, thinking it out, holding out, waiting for your partner to be ready, working with the situation. You could just push it forward. You really could. I'm getting that you could. But the way you're kind of diplomatically, diplomatically helping your partner kind of come to their own realization having your own thoughts ready at the ready for when the time is appropriate it seems to make this very good for your relationship your partner what helps them is the two of wands they have to get to that point where they realize they have to make a choice like they don't want to but they have to and i'm getting the aphrodite's love spell along with this is like trusting you or feeling good about you and coming towards you it's like this is also a reinforcing moment for this relationship this is really good the way you're playing this out, it's really good for the situation. It's good for the relationship. And I feel like you're making a very healthy move for the relationship, if I'm going to say so myself, the way I'm feeling this come out. So I feel like the way you're playing it, it's just, it's what's necessary. Because your partner is very, very invested, very emotionally connected to it, very happy with the situation as it is. And I feel like you're very well aware of that. So when it has to change, if they're on board with that in the right position, it just makes it better for them and you, and it moves forward so much more smoothly. And I feel like you're seeing that. I almost feel like this whole reading is reinforcing, like, you doing that is a good idea. For some of you, I get, like, you don't really want to do that, but you're maybe you're watching this reading and you're like, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be better. <laughs> you're kind of, yeah, I suppose. Um, so maybe that's the help of this reading, too. All right, they're telling me the message came through, let it be. Let's go on to Aquarius Singles. What do we have for single Aquarians? Messages for single Aquarians. As I throw cards on the floor. What do we have for single Aquarians? Messages for single Aquarians. Messages for single Aquarians. Messages for single Aquarians. Messages for single for single occurrence. Alright, what do we got? We'll find out in a minute. 
very hopeful. <laughs> Feeling very good about this. That's the trick about when you guys can't see the cards and I can. That's uh, it's right. I mean, I always show. I know I show them as the reading goes on, but I'm just like, I'll be honest. The lovers card is right here at the top, and I'm just like, and the ending looks really good too. So let's see what it takes to get there. It's not without its um. See, I like this. I do feel like you're headed for a victory, especially since you have the word victory here at the bottom. I'm feeling this is good. Not without its not without its trials, but the situation. See, I'm getting like the now and the past. It's all kind of because you're. This is something you're considering moving on from. You got the six of swords. And even though you have this lover's card, which I said about in the top, which I think this is a very beautiful rendition of that, um, the base of this is the Eight of Swords. The current spot is the Five of Pentacles with Three of Wands. I'm getting, there seems to be a lot of restriction here. There seems to be a lot of restriction. It's it, It's been difficult in the past. I'm getting like the Five of Pentacles is like you're not getting what you want out of the situation. The three of wands is like you're like it's like you're literally moving on and your thoughts are it's best to move on. The one last card I'm gonna talk about for this part portion of the reading is the five of swords. You're feeling if you try to force the issue, you may get what you want, but the loss will be greater than the win. Um which is interesting, because this is kind of like the fruitless victory card, in my opinion, but I'm getting the reason you're not is because your thoughts are saying, I could get what I want, but I might lose more than I gain. Um, now, where it's, it's going better in the future. <laughs> it sounds really bleak to start, and I'm sorry. I mean, it, like I said, it has its own trials. The person you're interested in now this is all them. Okay. We're going to start with the bottom cards. Because I feel like this is very connected to them. The hanged man with the victory. They want to be with you. They, I'm getting there's a lot of passion here. It feels very, very motivated to go towards you. But I'm getting like the victory, the victory that they want, they feel like they can't really get to. They feel locked away from. I'm getting that hanged man, but I'm also... I also say constantly with this hanged man card, it's not somewhere you people, anybody can live. You can't live hanging from a tree by a snake. You can't live there by a snake. This is an interesting spot. Um, in some respect or another, they got to move forward. That snake is either going to bite them or let them go, and they're going to drop in that water, and they're going to be free. One of the two. But they want this. They want this. The Four of Swords with the Divine Guidance, is this is in the environment. This is representing them. They want it. They don't know how to get it. They don't see any way to get it currently, but they're thinking about it. They're trying to find a way. Four of Swords with the Divine Guidance is they're trying to find a way for this to happen. They want it to happen. They're trying to find a way. The Four of Swords is telling me they can't get it together. They can't find that route out of the situation or into a situation with you that they want. But they're thinking about it. And the divine guidance is telling me there's a divine push for them to keep thinking, keep trying, keep looking. Now, this next spot here in the first part of the future doesn't seem as optimistic, but we got the last three cards here that are going to be very fun. Study with the seven. No, I don't think this is that bad. You're going to think that they moved on from it. You're going to think that this other person completely moved on from it. But I'm getting they're still researching it. They haven't. This could go on for a couple months. i got to be honest. They're trying to find a way. They're still looking for a way to make it happen. They're looking. They're, they're paying attention. They're looking for their way, their opportunity. You're thinking with the Seven of Swords, though, I think you think that they let it go. And I feel like you might have just kind of let it go. Because this is more your read. I'm getting that. You're, I feel like you might have just been like, yeah, I would like that, but... It doesn't seem like that's going to happen. You're just letting it be. I just feel like you're letting it be. You're letting it go stagnant. Dormant, whatever you want to put. You're just kind of walking away from it. 
again, you're just kind of like, eh, I don't see this happening. I just feel like I lose more than I gain, so I'm going to let it be. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Um, here's your outcome. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Abundance. I'm getting opportunity comes forward. I'm getting a very solid chance for this to go forward comes your way. Is it, this, this is the other person coming back towards you. That's that Queen of Wands. Don't get caught up in the gender. This is just telling me that person has a lot of emotional energy coming towards you. They're showing you a solid way for this to work out. And they're showing you all this abundance. They're showing you the dedication to make it happen. It's all in your court whether this goes forward or not. I'm getting when this comes back towards you, though, not expecting it. Not seeing it. Not thinking about it. This person just, it's almost like they show up on your doorstep and they're like, you know, I have a possibility now. This is how we can make this work. And it's a solid plan. The Ten of Pentacles, when I, fe when I feel that coming towards you from the Queen of Wands, it's like you, you, do, you agree. I feel like you agree. It's a solid plan. It could work. It's all about do you want to go through all... It's almost like do you want to go through all these trials to get, to get that, though? It's like it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. I'm also getting that with the Ten of Pentacles. It may be solid, maybe dependable, maybe a good plan, but it's going to take a bit of work. I feel like it's going to take a bit of work. But you, you can do it. It's success is there. I know that the, the uh, Ten of Wands isn't there. But I feel like the reason I'm using the Ten of Pentacles for that is saying it's a solid plan. It's This person's coming forth with the passion. They're showing you everything you could get from it. But I feel like you're very well aware also. Like, it's going to take some work. It's not going to be like, you know, just snap your fingers and, ooh, I'm magically gifted with everything I wanted. You're going to have to work for it. You know it. So it's up to you whether you go forward or not. Solid plan. It will work. Is it worth it to you? Is it worth it to you? I just say leave it there. Because when it comes forward, you'll know what you want to do. All right. I'm going to wrap that up there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email. james for astral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.